hey guys welcome to my video and as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be discussing about how I got into the University of Maryland as a transfer student when I first started college I was that was like 2017 fall of 2017 because I graduated 2017 of high school so I attended I attended Prince George's Community College that's where I went before transferring to University of Maryland Maryland was always my dream school. I always wanted to go there ever since I was little. Like, I always dreamed of going there. But, you know, how stuff works out, I ended up going to Prince George's Community College. So, how high school was for me? High school was up and down. Like, I was going through stuff. So, ninth and 10th grade, I wasn't good. Like, I'm really, really smart, but I was just not doing stuff that I needed to be doing in school so the light clicked on in my head and I started getting myself together I took AP in 11th grade was taking everything that I needed to take you know just to get my because my GPA it was kind of low but we're not going to talk about that so yeah it was kind of low and you know how high school is so 12th grade I had a plan like of what I wanted to do um I was gonna apply to you know a whole bunch of like HBCUs like schools around Maryland because I wasn't trying to go out of state because of money because I didn't get any financial aid well any grants let's say any grants and I didn't want to take out a loan yet so you know just trying to think smart go to a school in Maryland because that's where I live and when it was time to like apply to schools, I wanted to apply to the University of Maryland, but in my mind, I'm like, no, I know they're not going to accept me. My grades are bad. My GPA is low. It wasn't that low, but it was low for my standards. So I was like, no, I'm just not even going to take that chance. So I applied to like Morgan State University, Bowie State University, University of Maryland Eastern Shore. And I think that's it. Yeah, I only did like three schools because, you know, I knew I was getting to those schools. So, I got into the, I got into Morgan State University. So, I planned on going to Morgan State University. But, talking with my mom, like, she made so much sense. Like, why spend all that money to go to a school that I, I, I really didn't want to go to. But, you know, it was just whatever. She said, why don't you just go to Prince George's Community College, save your money so you can, you know, do your two years and then transfer to the school you actually want to go to. So, that's what I did. That's how I ended up at Prince George's Community College. So, once I started attending Prince George's Community College, let's just say PGCC, once I started attending PGCC, you know, everything was good. I was excited. It's my first year of college. I didn't have to, like, go to class for real. But, you know, you know classes were going good, whatever. But I started slacking a little bit. I was taking the wrong math, so I withdrew from that class. You know, just get... I was doing good. I had a 3 point... 3.5? I think it was a 3.5. I had a 3.5 in my first semester of school, even though I dropped out, not dropped out, I withdrew from a class. Moving on, second semester, got a C, kind of was hurt about that. Second semester, I got a D. I had got a D in biology. I cried my eyes out. I was so upset. My GPA went down so low. It was like a two point something. I was just so upset so I know that you know I was upset I got the D whatever whatever I accepted the fact that I needed to get myself together because I knew that I wanted to go to University of Maryland so I needed to get myself together so at PG you can take you can retake a class and replace the grade so I retook biology and then I had got a B because you know I knew I could do it I just wasn't focused how I needed to be focused. It was getting time for me to apply to the University of Maryland. I applied. I was scared. I was really, really scared because I was like, wow, what if they look at my transcript? She 
withdrew from a class. She got a D. Well, you know, stuff like that. I was just scared. Like, I was honestly scared. My GPA, oh, trust me, honey, my GPA at PG was good. Even with that D, my GPA was good because, it, re you know, the B replaced the D. So, my GPA was amazing. Afraid that Marilyn would look at my transcript and be like, no, we don't want her, you know, stuff like that. Every day that, you know, after I apply, like, I would check my email, like, check, check my email. Because my mom, she, you know, we was on it. We was calling up there. Hey, do you have the status of my application? Da, 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 whatever, whatever. So, told us at, you know, end of March, mid-April, that's when they start sending out, um, you know, acceptance or rejection letters. So, my birthday is March 31st. I was like, wouldn't it be perfect? Like, wouldn't it be for perfect if... I got my acceptance letter on my birthday so I was just really excited you know my birthday went and passed I didn't get, you know I didn't get anything no information or whatever so I just kept waiting I waited I waited and then finally I got my acceptance letter I cried I cried so bad like oh my god I cried so bad because it's like this is my dream school like I always wanted to go to University of Maryland and their criminal justice program is the number one in the nation so you know i had to slide my way up in there because that's my major you know but yeah so that's just how i got in to university of maryland it's my dream school you know it's my dream school now it's my time to shine and i'm going to my dream school i'm just so happy i know i'm gonna do great things there and We'll see how that goes. Look out for my college videos, you know, because this is my dream school. I'm just going to be so excited. Like, I don't care what nobody says. They can be like, oh, she pressed, she pressed, whatever, whatever. I don't care. I am pressed. This is my dream school. I literally work so hard for this. My mom is just, you know, she's happy for me and I'm, you know, I'm happy for me too. So, watch out for my college videos. I'm going to be focused on my schoolwork. But I'm still going to have fun, you know, striving for a 4.0. No, but really, watch out for my college videos because they're definitely coming soon. You know, because I'm going to have fun. We're all going to have fun. We're going to be best friends. With that being said, don't forget to like my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see me at the University of Maryland. Comment what school you're going to. Whether you're a junior, senior, freshman, sophomore. I don't know why I said it in that order. But, you know, comment what school you're going to. You know, let me know something. I hope you have an amazing, amazing semester, school year, whatever. And I'll see you in my next video. Boy, laugh, bro. Heartbreak City. DMV. Yeah. She say she love me, girl, stop lying. Me and you both know ain't the time. I got a lot of stress on mine. Und